I began doing activism when I was about 11 or 12 um, and the actions I took then were sort of what you would consider for a stereotypical activist. It was very much out protesting in the street with a placard, um, trying to convince people of my message. And although that's still important to me, I learned the importance of storytelling. I began to understand a few years ago how humans are creatures of stories. And if we want to move towards a more ethical and sustainable future, we need to be able to imagine a world where we value compassion and community and nature over consumption and growth. And I think that people often say about the environmental movement, there needs to be less talking and more acting. And whilst I agree there needs to be more action, I think that the moment the talking stops, that action stops. So I say keep talking, keep acting and imagine as well. Imagine that amazing future, incredible future that we could move towards because environmentalism isn't all about sacrifices, it's about creating a new world for all of us. I often get asked how do we keep an intergenerational dialogue going and then turn that into collective action? Or even how do we start an intergenerational dialogue? And I think the most important thing, which actually um, very amazingly I have seen happening quite recently is young people being involved, young people being given a seat at the table. And I don't mean a tokenistic sort of, we have one young person involved in our charity as an ambassador, but actually asking young people their opinions, um, getting a group or a school in and engaging in, engaging in dialogue with them rather than just telling them that they need to take action. Young people care passionately and yes, they're anxious about the future, but most importantly, young people have very strong opinions and very strong ideas about what needs to be done and how we can get there. And I think completely overlooking all those opinions and views of this massive demographic, one of the biggest demographics in the world, young people, um, is hugely damaging. One important question I get a lot is, um, you're young, why would you decide to give up sort of your youth and your childhood to commit to this? And I think the most important thing is to remember this isn't a passion. Activism isn't the passion of young people. I didn't wake up one day and decide that I, I wanted to be an activist and I wanted to do campaigning. It was more a deep rooted love of the natural world, but more importantly, a recognition that all of our futures, not just young people, everyone on earth, and their future is at stake, but especially the demographic of young people and in different locations around the world, people are already being threatened by the climate and environmental crisis. And so I think it's that recognition of the reality of what our futures will hold and the impending devastation if we don't take action. Um, and I know this has caused what's being labelled eco-anxiety for many young people, which is sort of just anxiety around the reality of what's happening and what's going to happen. And to stay grounded and to stay motivated and um, passionate, I would say, go out into nature and enjoy the thing that you're trying to protect and do what young people are meant to do. You know, have fun with your friends, go out, because you have to keep some semblance of sanity because this environmental fight isn't a sprint, it's a marathon and we need to be in it for the long run. My message to everyone listening is we need large scale systemic change, yes, but that doesn't diminish the power of the individual because when individual actions accumulate, they have a huge impact on political and economic and social structures. So don't forget your individual power as a consumer, as a citizen, as a voter. Um, and also don't forget the importance of community. No one can do this alone. Um, and don't forget the importance of speaking up as loudly as you can but also listening because I think it's so so important to always be willing to change your mind if the evidence presents itself.